Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Gemini friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right, let's get going, shall we? Now, my beautiful Gemini, I have three piles here, past, present, and future. And right here, this is the fourth pile. This is energy anywhere between the past, present, and future, okay? When we get to the future, remember that the future is not set in stone and that it can change at any time that you choose it to, right? It's it's not set in stone, it's fluid, all right? You can totally choose a different future. Now, um, if this resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, all right? And if it does not resonate with you, I might not be the tarot reader for you or, and you know, and if that's not the case, there are so many beautiful tarot readers out there that are so decent. But, you know, if that's not the case and it's just it's not your reading today, it's just not your reading. And that's okay because this is a general reading and I throw out a net and whoever catches it, catches it. If it resonates, it resonates. Okay, it's like that. But if you find a really decent um, tarot reader that you absolutely adore and love, ask them for a personal reading, okay? And what will happen is they will pick up your energy and they will personalize it and help you with what's going on in your life. Okay? So I hope that helps. Now let's get going, shall we? We're going to start with your past energy. You've got the Two of Swords. Indecision, difficult decisions, and different views. Um, you've got to decide something and it's going to be really, really fucking difficult. Ultimately, if this really was a zombie apocalypse, it'd be smarter to pick neither of those and get like a katana or a machete. I'm just saying, these are loud. But, unless the zombies are deaf, if they're deaf, okay, that works. But, <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Alright, next card. Ten of Wands. You are juggling a lot of burdens and responsibilities, or you were, anyhow. And it was taking a toll on you. You're also dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, and with this, this is a bold, impetuous adventure. This knight is always there at the right time, the right place. Okay. Seven of Wands. Challenges, competition, and persistence. Somebody wants what's yours, and you are like, back your shit down, that is mine. No, get away. Mine, mine, mine. Uh-uh. No. No, no, no. That's mine. I worked hard for it. Go get your own. That's how you felt. Slide these over a little. Currently, you're in a five of hazards. Poverty, financial loss, and anxiety. You are were, you were stressing the fuck out currently. Alright? Um, with this card, it tells you that you're probably going to have to... Well, what it is is... You're going through something, but it tells you not to give up because if you just keep going and you don't worry, everything will be okay. And it's it's easier said than done, really, because I mean you're gonna worry whether you want to or not. It's just it's telling you to it's okay. Take a couple deep breaths and collect yourself. Maybe go take a bubble bath. It'll be okay. But it's it's also saying that if you check another alley, you might get some luck. Sorry about the background. The Wheel of Fortune. This is luck, fate, and destiny. It's on your side. Everything's turning around. You've got options, choices, consideration, and daydreams. You've got so much shit going on. You have to pick something. Okay? And if you don't pick, you know, if you don't pick soon, a choice will be picked for you. And you might not like that choice, all right, Gemini? I'm just saying now, you might not like that choice. So so weigh out your pros and cons. You are going through a ten of hazards. Wealth, family, and contentment. So you're content with family. Even though you're stressing out with a little bit of poverty, your luck is going to be turning around. You've got options. Don't worry, okay? All right. Let me move that out of the way. Now, 
the future, remember, not set in stone, is the Seven of Swords. This is theft, sabotage, and deception. Someone is deceiving you. Oh, yes. Yes, they are. And you know it. They're trying to just sabotage you. They're stealing from you in one way or another, and it's pissing you off. But you are the Empress. So, Gemini, each of us, we have two two energies in our in in our body regardless of what's between our legs okay we have a male energy and a female energy each of us okay the male energy tries there's there's two things that you that your male ener, male energy and female energy try to um reach okay for the female energy it's empress for the male energy it's emperor but you're not handed these automatically no in order to get to being the Empress and the Emperor, top notch, the pop and mom of the tarot deck, you have to go through some serious shit and gain some serious knowledge. And that's a lot of trial and error. And you have made it in the female energy. You are an Empress, a beautiful Empress. You're fert fertile, fertile, fertility, maternal, successful, you name it. You're very abundant and you're loving and you're, you're a mama bear, whether you're a guy or a girl. You're a mama bear or papa bear. Six of hazards. Generosity favors rewards and strings attached. So you don't like strings attached, and in this situation, there is. So be leery. And if you are buying a home, you know, but I don't feel like this is a buying home situation. If you're going through a seven of swords in the future, but you've entered empress mode and there's strings attached, you're going to be leaving a situation behind. I'm surprised there's not a three of swords or a ten of swords. Did I miss a ten of swords? We'll see. Two, ten of wands, nine of wands, seven of wands. Hazards, cups, fortune, hazards, swords, empress. Yeah, so, so far I don't see that. But you don't like strings attached. So what I'm seeing in the future is that you're saying, fuck you later, alligator, to that person. I'm out. I'm going to the next town to find my abundance. And that's you. That's moving on from troubled relationships and making a change in your life. All right. Fourth deck. Remember, anywhere between past and future. Past, present, and future. You are the fool. You're not a fool. You're the fool. Okay, a fool is... A lot of people use the word a fool as um, an insult. But in this case, it's you're not an insult in any way, shape, or form. You are so beautiful. You've dropped your baggage and you're started over. You're not letting the past hamper you down. You've got your new journey, first steps, and hasty choices. You've got a bit of a pep in your step and you've got a good lunch going on. And that that hand wants to high five you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, judgment is your next card. This is accepting or an acceptance of the karma and taking responsibility for your role in a situation or accepting the responsibility for someone else. If they don't say sorry, that's okay. You're just calling judgment on it. You're like, yeah, I'm done, dude. I'm out. I'm good. No more drama. You are working for a queen of hazards. That or it's someone in your life. This is a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Someone who's materialistic, confident, and practical. This is a hard-ass boss lady. <sighs> but she doesn't have to be a lady. This, just, this card represents this energy as a lady. What it is, is that this person is hard on the outside and soft on the inside. And as, as your boss of some sort... She hired you, right? She saw something in you that no one else saw, right? She sees such great potential, and so she's pushing you and pushing you and pushing you. Because she knows what you're worth. And she's so proud of your growth. Okay, you've got a soft stalker, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, the reason why I call this a soft stalker is because in his story, in my deck, he's hiding behind a bush with love in his eyes, watching you. Which is kind of eerie, but it's just someone who loves you from afar. Creative, kind, and artistic. The soft stalker. The chariot. You're dealing with a cancer energy, Gemini. Yeah. Travel, conquest, and progress. You are traveling somewhere... 
Nine of Hazards, Prosperity, Independence, and Confidence. So my beautiful Geminis, while the world was going to shit, or to in hell in a handbasket or whatever, however you want to phrase it, and they were running around like chickens with their heads cut off, you kept a cool, calm, collective head. Yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. And you prospered. You took advantage of the situation. And you upped your game. You said, you know, I'm not going to let this this bullshit currently in the world hold me back. I'm going to grow as an individual. I'm going to succeed. Yeah, we're bound at home, but so what? There's internet. I can gain on, I can gain a career over the internet. I can, you know, <laughs> I can go to school still. I can... I can read something out, you know, just, there's so many possibilities, right? You can even start your own business from home. Getting creative. You had a tower moment. Sudden change and destruction, and you've been questioning your conventions the whole damn time. It's like this, you know those food trays that you deliver food on to someone in bed? Think of putting a house of cards on top of that. And then someone walking by seeing it, grabbing both sides of the tray and shaking it and throwing it up, up in the air. And you got 52 pickup. So it's not an end of a situation, but the beginning of starting over and rethinking your, your plan. So it could be a good tower or a bad tower, depending on how you handle it. You've got an ace of wands. New task, motivation, and energy. Now my beautiful Gemini's, a lot of tarot readers refer this card to the Mel Human Phallic or like a passion thing so someone's got sexual passion for you oh yes nine of cups wishes dreams material and physical happiness everything's coming in you're so happy and, and abundant you're happy within your soul your heart okay now, you're dealing with a Knight of Swords, someone who's a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Brave, ego, and lack of emotion. Someone who's going to rush into a situation, cause all kind of havoc, and run out. So think of it like this, alright? Unless that's you running into a situation. Um, think of a storm on the water, alright? Like a thunderstorm. Lightning, electricity, you know, well, same thing. Elect electrical lightning, right? Dancing between the clouds, rain, and the waters, they're swishing back and forth, being electrified. Because you know what happens when electricity touches water, it gets, it changes. It gets, it gets primal, very sexy in one way or another. So suddenly, it comes in like this Knight of Swords, right? Knight of Swords has something to teach. The thunderstorm has something to teach the water, right? It has something to say. Sorry. I'm in a weird angle. I haven't sat at my desk in a while. Okay. So, the, the Knight of Swords comes in and it wants to teach the water something new. Change it. Make it think. Okay? And then the Knight of Swords rushes out. And the storm just slowly dissipates. And the water is still rushing, but it's not the same water it was before. Oh no, it's been altered. It's changed. It's become something more, but yet it's the same. That's kind of what's going on here. I like that scenario. I'm going to put that in a book. Oh yeah, <laughs> with my other eight books. Plus three. Eleven books. Holy crap, I've written a lot. Okay, sorry, back to the tarot. Two of Cups. You are being able to sit down with somebody that you haven't got along with in a long time. Harmony, balance, and compromise. Oh, hell yes. This is so great. It's so great you're able to sit down with someone that you used to like bicker and fight, but now it's like everything's calm. Three of Wands, cooperation, progress, and group effort. Everybody's coming together and working together. My favorite card, Ace of Hazards. Possibilities, financial rewards, and new beginnings. And that's not even the reason why it's my favorite. My It's my favorite because in the story it talks about getting a high five from the undead. And that's fucking awesome. I'm sorry. 
It also talks about dominating and taking over the world, and whenever it says that, I think of Pinky and the Brain theme song. Yes, I am that old, but that young at the same time. So old that I named my rat Pinky. <laughs> my sister got mad. Let's just end the conversation there. That's not his name! I'm like, he's white. <laughs> his name is Pinky. His fat brother Brain's black, and he's an asshole. He hoards all the food, so his name will be Pinky. <laughs> Well, brain died, so I still got pinky, so that's... Anyway, sorry, back on topic. I'm a little tired. Five of Wands. So, you're in a quarrel strife in a competition, right? But here's the thing. You're fighting with someone, Gemini. Oh, yes, you are over something so fucking stupid. And you know it's stupid. Well, it does, you, to you, it doesn't feel like it's stupid, and to them, it doesn't feel like it's stupid. But you know it is, and you're going to be burning a bridge and ending a friendship over it. Because there's your friendship crawling away while you nod its leg. It's like, I'm out. See you later, alligator. I'm out. And your friend's like, see him. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. The meatball's rolling away. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> You're in an ace of swords. Trials, intellect, and action. Alright, you're going to have to say something you don't want to say. Because, you know, you're a zombie hunter. So, um, you got to think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it to who you're going to say it. Because you're going to be cutting bridges. Oh, hell yes, you are. And the thing is, is that Gemini, if you cut this person off, you might actually be hurting yourself as well. So, think wisely on this. You'd rather... Um, be tactful, not tactless. You know, you don't want to walk on eggshells, but you don't want to seem like an asshole. And you can catch more bees with honey than with vinegar. And you know that saying, right? But it's just that it's like this person's pissing you the fuck off. And because your friendship is crawling away over here, there it goes. It's like, ha, 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 I don't want to be here anymore. And you're like, take that, hi-ya, to the nose hole. And your friend's like, oh, hey, look, I got a new hole, you know? I've always wanted one of those for Christmas. Can I get my two front teeth too? Don't ask for too much, my friend. Don't ask for too much. <laughs> Santa can only bring you one thing at a time in his big red bag. Okay, so <laughs> we're doing King of Swords, right? This is this is also you. You can step down from Empress or Emperor anytime you want because you've already reached that level of maturity. You know, of growth, evolution. But you can step down and be like, eh, I'm going to be stubborn, authoritative, and judgmental. You're pissing me off. And because, Gemini, you're an air sign, you're able to dance between them, you know. You're calling, you're causing, you're calling judgment on something. You are. You're sick of the theft, sick of the bullshit. You just want to be happy. You've got a secret admirer, soft stalker and whatnot, you know. I drink a Pepsi, so I'm all burp, burpity. <clears throat> duh, duh, I told you I slipped down and fell. Are you okay? Yeah, but I got... <coughs> Sorry about the monologue from the seven-year-old. The last card is the Ace of Cups. I'm so sorry it's bright. I should address this. Hold on. I just noticed. I got home. Better? Somewhat? Anyway? You've got the Ace of Cups. New relationships, beginnings, and emotional journeys. That's at the bottom of the deck. Anytime I talk, the dog goes off. That's weird. Yeah, he's talking crap to me now. He's like, hey, I can know you're hearing me. Get over here, you. <laughs> Anyway, so here's the thing, is that you're going through some shit, you really are, and I'm sorry, but it's going to be okay, right? You're going to have a tower moment, you have a soft stalker, everybody's coming together and helping, but there's also theft and deception in the future that could possibly happen, but you seem to have got that handled, you've got a, someone who you're cutting off, and I assume that's the person who's being deceptive and a thief and a liar and all kinds of shit, and they're pissing you off. So, um... But you're going to prosper. You're moving up. And you're able to sit down with someone. So maybe... Maybe that person that you brought back... But I don't see Toxic or the Devil card here. So I don't know. Maybe that person who's 
um, the Seven of Swords is, you know, they could be, hold on, let me think, because I'm looking at this, they could be the, the two, the two of cups, but if you're finally able to sit down with someone, then the Seven of Swords wouldn't be in the future, or a possible future, right? Unless you're able to resolve that because you almost lost a friendship over theft and deception and... Yeah, because there's your friendship going out the door because of their unwise decisions because they're an asshat, basically. Don't tell them I said that, but you know, we all feel it. But you're getting help from the undead, so... And you're, you're going back to being, um, a fool the fool, like, you're not letting any of this shit hold you back, you've made decisions, you're moving forward, everything, you know, you've got the will of fucking fortune, so that's great, absolutely great, and you're gonna have to put your foot down, you really are, and I'm gonna back you up, you've gotta call judgment and end whatever is going on, or talk to them and restart something else under the fact that they know your boundaries because you need to lay down the fact that you have boundaries and for some reason I think this if this person who's deceiving you is also shoving their melphalic or their passion in your face like like what is this like a fake love if you're celebrating you're able to sit down calmly but, you know, you've got your Nine of Cups. But it just, I don't know, like, you're fighting with someone. Maybe you're fighting with family, too, you know. Maybe the Seven of Swords is someone in your family who's who's going to deceive you and you've got to call judgment on it and end that friendship. But you have a tower, too. So... The Seven of Swords could have shook you up and caused you a tower moment where you had to rethink. Holy shit, I didn't expect that from this person ever. You know, I didn't expect them to ever do that to me. I didn't deserve that. What the fuck do they think I am? A doormat? Like, I'm just going to keep giving and giving my shit to them and they're going to keep taking and taking and taking? Like, that's not even cool. That's a half-assed, um, ass-hat move. But you've got your you've got your ace of cups, so and your fool the fool card, and your will of fortune. So no matter what kind of trickery they're throwing at you, it's not gonna last because you're wise. You've wisened up to that. You're an empress, and as soon as you handle your shit, you move into emperor mode in your male energy. So you gotta put your foot down and tell them, ha, enough's enough, fucker. I'm out. I'm skedaddling. And then you know what's funny is that where is it? Well, maybe it's not in this deck, but I'm feeling like you're you're escaping it, but you're you're in thought mode. Maybe next reading, if if this comes up again, it'll probably have to do with you being in an Eight of Swords, and then like what Six of Swords is escaping. Eight of Swords is in your head, but I I'm surprised I don't see Ten of Swords. So you don't have like a severe fucking deception where it like really fucking knocks you on your knees but this is just like a minor like what the fuck was that about you fucker like what the fuck it's father's day i didn't deserve that shit like why are we fighting on father's day this is not cool we're supposed to be coming together as a family but but no you have to be an asshat and ruin it like every year or every holiday like, why the fuck? And it, and it might be an attention-getter thing. That could be another thing. Trying to one-up each other. Because at one point I thought I saw... Oh, that's not it. I don't know. I just... I feel strongly. Oh, here it is. <laughs> You're fighting for your shit. It's a competition of who can fucking be an ass hat at this party. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Gemini. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's going to be okay. Um, if you want to leave a comment, but you don't want it to be made public, what you could do is you could go to my YouTube channel, look up my but about section, and then find my name, go to Facebook Messenger, and message me. And be like, hey, this is Gemini. Remember me? Yeah, that ass hat pissed me off. Or something. No, I'm just kidding. Don't say that. <laughs> say whatever you want. Um, you don't have to apologize for getting a hold of me. All right? Because ultimately, here's the thing is we're family. We're a Zodiac family, right? And um, I'm here for you. Because obviously I can shuffle. Holy crap. Um, you know, you just, I will drop what I'm doing and talk with you and see how you're doing because I know that we all need to vent and sometimes we have nobody to talk to. And I can probably bring a fresh perspective to whatever is going on in your life, right? Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Sleeper Empress. I love you all so much. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot or tomorrow's daily horoscope, okay? I love you. Bye.